Here we go. You ready, Dwayne? Yeah, let's do it. I love aerodynamics. I was really stoked that we could make airfoil fins because I don't know anyone out there who has airfoil fins on their rocket. I just, that just kind of gets me going. The most commonly used material for the fins is G10 fiberglass, which is hard to shape on a scale of this size. We created the entire bottom section of the rocket out of Ultim, which provided a high enough strength to weight ratio and high enough heat resistance that it would be able to withstand the conditions of operating around the solid rocket motor. I work mostly on the electronics part of the rocket, and so all the circuit board computers and sensors is all going to fit into this stuff that solid concepts made for us. I did a lot of the CAD stuff for the team and it was really fun for me because I kind of get to like play the big part of what everybody else is doing. So like Tiana designs the fins and then comes to me asks me to implement them in SolidWorks. Matt designs the whole coupling system of the two stages. Daniel's payloads and Austin tells me how he wants the parachute phase. So it's really cool how everything like that comes together. Once you get it to uh, max height or apogee, uh, the whole system would deploy and come down via parachute. Basically, the, those come pop off. We'd have the main parachute in here once we get down to a thousand feet. And then in our booster stage, we'd have a separate parachute. And then we also have a drogue parachute located right around here. Putting this custom diameter tail cone in, which could have only been made without any manufacturing, it actually increased the amount of weight we can put in the rocket, make it sturdier, beefier, and put on more electronics to record data, and still be able to maintain the same altitude. I had to be in charge of a lot of the assembly because that's one of the rules of certification, and it was a lot less stressful having this piece done. And then next launch, I have this piece and this piece done. It's gonna make launch feel like so much quicker. We spent so much time kind of pushing it our bike. You made the CAD model, you send it out to Solid Concepts, boom, it's over. Your, your job is done for manufacturing.